She is known for her significant contributions to the field of psychoanalysis, specifically in child analysis. She is recognized for being the primary figure in the development of object relations theory. Her name is Melanie Klein. In the realm of psychology, one name stands out as a pioneer, Melanie Klein. Born in Austria and later becoming a British citizen, Klein made significant contributions to the field of psychoanalysis, particularly in the area of child analysis. Her groundbreaking work on object relations theory revolutionized our understanding of early childhood development. Klein proposed that infants experience existential anxiety even before they can speak, and this anxiety plays a crucial role in the formation of the unconscious mind. According to her theory, this anxiety leads to the splitting of the world into good and bad idealizations. How a child resolves this split depends on their individual constitution and the quality of nurturing they receive. The way in which this split is resolved can have profound implications for a person's later life. It can influence the presence, absence, or type of distresses they may experience. Klein's theories shed light on the complex interplay between early experiences and psychological well-being, highlighting the importance of early intervention and nurturing in promoting healthy development. Melanie Klein's work continues to shape the field of psychoanalysis, providing valuable insights into the intricate workings of the human mind. Her legacy serves as a reminder of the profound impact that understanding and addressing early childhood experiences can have on individual lives and society as a whole. Melanie Klein, a pioneering figure in child psychoanalysis, revolutionized the field by working directly with children, even as young as two years old. Unlike Freud, who primarily based his ideas on working with adult patients, Klein believed that children's play was their primary mode of emotional expression. Through careful observation of children playing with toys, such as dolls and animals, Klein documented their activities and interactions, aiming to uncover the unconscious meaning behind their play. In her work, Klein emphasized the significant role that parental figures played in a child's fantasy life, challenging Freud's notion of the timing of the Oedipus complex. She proposed that the superego, the moral component of the psyche, was present from birth, contradicting Freud's view. Moreover, Klein delved into the exploration of ultra-aggressive fantasies in disturbed young children, leading her to propose a model of the human psyche that linked oscillations of state with pulsations of life and death. Klein identified a crucial developmental stage called the depressive position, characterized by the understanding that good and evil coexist. In this stage, the child experiences fears and worries about the harm caused in their fantasies. Through fantasies and behavior therapy, the child attempts to repair and restore their mother figure, overcoming their depression and anxiety. Klein named this stage the depressive position due to the accompanying feelings of despair and doubt, as the child questions their ability to fix the harm they caused. Additionally, Klein introduced the concept of the paranoid schizoid position, which develops at birth and is characterized by persecution fantasies and the child's defense mechanism of separation. This defensive response manifests as a common psychotic condition in children. However, Klein's focus on aggression as a significant force in child analysis led to conflicts with Anna Freud, another prominent child psychotherapist. These conflicts, known as the controversial discussions, resulted in the formation of three distinct training groups within the British Psychoanalytical Society, with Anna Freud's influence predominating in the U.S. Do you want to explore more scientists? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.